Hi guys, Todd here. Right, uh, we're in the middle of a weather bomb right now. And it certainly feels like it. It's blowing a gale here. Uh, tonight, actually let's go off on tangent a bit. I've already recorded this before. Uh, I, I've done the up close stuff and whatnot for this rebuildable dripping atomizer. I did it last night. Uh, I'm re-recording the intro and the, the, the waffle at the end um, because I wasn't quite happy with what I said and I just, just wanted to make sure I got this right. Uh, right. This is for this little guy here. This little guy. Whoa. This is from the Atty Smith or Hellfire, uh, however you want to refer to it. Uh, Hellfiremods.co.uk. 22mm dripper. Uh, made from 304 stainless steel. Peak insulator. Really nifty little build going on in it. Um, this costs the priceless sum of just in case the wife's listening. Uh, I bought this, uh, I, I ordered it on the Friday night I think and it arrived here Monday. It was £90 for the, the dripper, uh, I think it was £98.50 by the time it got to my door. It arrived very quickly. Uh, now I just straight out and see it. Bloody expensive uh, for a dripper. It is, it's expensive for a dripper. There are no two ways about it. Uh, I don't know how, I mean the guy that builds these things, uh, Darren, uh, I don't know how he makes these now. Uh, I don't know if it's uh, he's got a CNC machine. I don't know if it's uh, his own lathe. I really don't know any of that stuff anymore. Um, so I can't tell you that. All I can tell you is that it's £90. Uh, now, when it arrives, it's got a, a 1mm air hole on it, which is standard. Um, I mean, I have reviewed Hellfire products in the past. Um, I do like the way they're built. I do like the... Do you know, I do like them. I do. I, do, I mean, the, the Hellfire Genesis atomizers, I mean, back then when I reviewed them, the vape was too much for me. I mean, it was really intense. Uh, I'd probably love it now because my vaping style has changed so much. But uh, well built. No denying it. Very well built. Enough waffling at this moment in time. What we'll do is we'll go down and we will have a look at the deck. And I'll show you myself putting a build in. Before we go any further, uh, I just want to put a shout out. There is a group, uh, basically it's, it's the Hellfire Atty Smith Facebook group. Uh, now there is a last, uh, I think she's admin, uh, it's Angel Ele Elena, probably wrong the way I've said that. I posted up that I'd bought this and she, before it even arrived with me, she was actually sending, she'd sent pictures, never spoken to her before on Facebook, she sent pictures on how to do a build. Awesome, uh, absolutely awesome. So, thank you to you for that. I really do appreciate that uh, because I didn't read it until after I'd got the device. So my first build sucked because um, I got it wrong. Also, thank you to Carol Jeffries because um, do you know not for any reason other than uh, I was going to be a smart ass there because he posted up a couple of builds as well and that was very helpful so thank you to those two people close-ups uh, what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll just show you that I mean this is how I have been running with it for the past few days and you can see it I mean it's 22 millimeter it's sitting on a, a, a micro mod here 18350 mode and yes I'm getting fingerprints everywhere I'm sorry so this is what she looks like close up. And you've got this little lip going on here as well. Uh, I've been using an Omen uh, titanium drip tip, which I think oh, just completes the look to a T. Uh, I'll pull the top cap off. The, 
the top cap now you think it pulls that's just what confuses me it pulls off really really easily I mean you would think normally that this is too loose it's not you can just by throwing it about get it to come off but it's just I hate to see it it's, it's, it's bang on perfect for me um, now I'll just show you inside here Now you're probably thinking, well that doesn't look like uh, a massively reduced top cap. But you've got to remember is that look how far that comes down. This negative, the positive terminal sitting just touching the top cap. Um, and look where the air hole is as well. The air hole's here. So your coil is actually sitting right up there. So there is not a lot of room in here at all. So in its own way, it is a massively reduced chamber. Now I'm using, a, this is a, a 1 ohm coil. And do you know, you can see where there's the negative. Negative screw sits right on the edge here. I've uh, got a little coil here. Positive, trapped under there. And... Just fires away quite the thing. Right, I'll I'll, st <laughs> I'll strip this down and I'll do a build and show you how I've been doing it. Okay, we're all cleaned up, almost. So yeah, I mean, look at the depth of the well there. I mean, I make the depth just using my crappy calipers six point three nine six point nine three millimeters in depth. So you've got a fair old well there. Uh, Obviously it's 22 millimetres in diameter and just taking it from without using the you know the 510 connector I make 17.91 millimetres. So you can see it's a tiny little beast. You've got these, you know grooves cut out here. Uh, it is it's almost like polished on the top, but it's like brushed on the sides. I think actually, you know, it's possibly just because I'm um, covered in e-liquid. I think it, it's not much of a fingerprint magnet. It's stainless steel centre post here. I'll just pull that off just now. It does come with a spare o-ring. And there you can see, you can see the melon in there. Uh, I mean that is stepped in there, you know it's I don't know if that adds anything to the vape to be perfectly honest uh, and we've got a little one mil air hole going on there as well now I've done a little micro coil there uh, that's six wraps of 0.3 canthal round a oh, two mil drill bit uh, I'm just going to use this little allen key here just to, to hold it in place like so now because of the way where the air hole sits, you're wanting the coil. Well, what I this is listen. This is what I do. I'll probably get roasted alive for doing this, but this is the way I've been building it. Okay, I just slap my coil down there. So I've got that wire trapped underneath the negative, and I'm just going to tighten it off. Bish bosh, job done. Get that out of the way. Make sure the positive is, screw that up a little bit. I'm going to take it around the back actually. Which is wrong, but there we go. So that's that trapped. Tighten this down. Just do it by finger quite easily. There we go. I pop that out. Now, I, I'm not too fussed about where this coil's sitting right now. Uh, I actually like it to be sitting higher than it should be because it makes it easier to get the cotton through basically. So I'll, I'll snip these bits off. So I've got my cotton passed through here and I'm just going to take my tweezers and pop this down. I'm not packing it down, I'm just running it round. And that'll do me. Just like that. 
try and leave um, if you can see there's a little gap I'm not putting any cotton underneath here just think it helps with the air circulation around there now what I want to do is now the temptation is to leave the coil there but you've got to remember that that top cap comes right down so you don't want this shorten out so just push it down a little bit so that's where mine has been sitting just about there so that's me just up there give it a little test fire do me nicely grab my top cap find my air hole which I always can't find uh, and just make sure that's lined up and there we go it's, it's, I mean if I, I pop the drip, excuse the drip tip, it's probably manky, but if I pop that on I mean, your air hole is a slap bang next to the, the coil basically so, <laughs> it's, right, that, that's it for the close ups and that's the build that I've been putting in it so there we go in the build now, I am currently running this on my red rod uh, and I just get a kick out of saying that, I don't know why a little 18350 guy because um, it's just, there's something about this little dripper it's tiny, it's absolutely tiny um, and here we go this is not a cloud chaser uh, this is a very, this is a heavy VG, my goose juice, 12 milligram, uh, and I get what I would consider to be plenty of vapour from it. For me, perfect. This is all about flavour. It's a flavour atty. Um, so if you're looking to chuck masses of clouds and all that crap out, then uh, nah, it's not for you. Unless you want to commit the ultimate sin and drill out a hellfire. You'd probably be struck by lightning or something or have a gang of balding, angry, middle-aged men telling you that you're doing it all wrong. But anyway, I jest. Um, it is, it's, it's bang on with the flavour. It's When I got this, the first build I put in it, I thought this was crap. <laughs> this was the most overpriced piece of shit I'd ever come across. That build, you've got the ledge if you like, uh, just on, you've got your well and then there's the ledge. Put your negative screw sits on. Make sure that your coil does not sit any higher than that screw. In fact, just the way I showed you in the video, just build it just like that and it's really nice, it's really nice. If you get the build slightly wrong, if you have it too high, then you're going to, the, it'll short out off the top cap. Uh, I found that if I had too much cotton in it, and even the build I showed you, I've cut down in that amount of cotton. Just hardly having any cotton in the well, and uh, it still is great. Flavour with the right build, I'll give it two thumbs up. Build quality, it's good. You know, it's, it's well built. It's it's a nice looking little latte. Um, I can't say, right, I, I'm going off my, my old, how I used to know Hellfire or the Artie Smith to be. You know, it was a, a British, mod maker, he made stuff in small quantities and stuff like that and there was a lot of hand finishing went on so they were very desirable and so on and so forth uh, so from that respect it appeals to me it really does, I, I mean I, I can't lie, I'm not going to lie, it really does appeal to me it's still bloody expensive and I'll be completely honest here, there are many many other rebuildable dripping atomizers that give off just as good a vape for almost half the price 
yeah, it's as simple as that. Uh, there are. There's a lot of them uh, that give off really good vapes. Give off good vapes? What the fuck? Give the same kind of flavour. Um, and they also have adjustable airflow and things like that. I, and, and that's the, the crux of it for me. <coughs> Taking out my personal thoughts. My personal thoughts are, I love it. It um, floats my boat, my kind of thing. You're never going to lose much in the way of money in this because it's a hellfire, so it'll, there always will be a t an audience for it. People will want to buy it. Uh, so if you do decide you want to sell it down the line, you're not going to lose a fortune on it. It's, uh, yeah, it's that kind of gear. If you want to get a vape as good as this, go out and buy something else. Um, if you don't have the budget for something else, don't panic. Uh, you know, there's other stuff out there. There's other stuff out there. Um, and, and that's really it. A quick vape. I really, I'm enjoying that slow draw. You know, rather than all this <gasps> carry on that I've been doing for a while now, it's just that, you know, it's just nice. It's nice, a nice relaxing way to vape. You don't feel like you're in, you know, a marathon or something gasping for air. And with that drip tip, it's just stunning. It really is nice. This is one for you. That's one for the Hellfire fans, you know, I mean, there's a lot of big fans of Hellfire gear and they lap this stuff up. Um, if you have the budget, uh, if you don't mind the one mil air hole, um, if you want a really flavoursome atom, atty, you know, go and buy it, you, you won't be sorry. Um, if you don't want to spend near a hundred pound to get it to your door, I'm including shipping here of course, uh, it's only 90 pound to buy. Um, then, yeah, go and buy something else. And I can't be any more honest or straight up than that. That's it from me, guys. Right, we'll leave it at that. That was a bit more, yeah, no vape drama or any shit there this time. Guys, take care. We'll catch up soon. Cheers now. Bye.